Hey, what's up guys? I'm Bobby here with Susan Eisenberg, the voice actress for Wonder Woman from Justice League the Animated Series and Justice League Unlimited. You guys know who she is. I mean, Wonder Woman was such a powerful character, was a favorite for years, one of my favorites, and you brought her to life. So uh, our fans just want to, you know, see what's going on. Uh, if you can take us back to the time when you were developing the character, how exactly did you you know, think about making the voice for her that came to life? You know, it, I had help. I mean, I had help because Andrea Romano was the voice director and Bruce Tim, who created the character, he um, was there in every session. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't doing it alone. And also the writers, because as I was on the show longer and longer, mm -hmm. the writers got to know me a little bit better personally so they could write to my strengths. And so we all developed her, so to speak. And when you hear her the first year the show came out, sound much younger mm. and as she matured I got to mature with her wow. so it was pretty lucky yeah no yeah. awesome and I'm happy to touch base on that because when the show started she was the rookie character yeah, they she was. called her that for a while too yeah. and as it developed she became such a major staple of uh, the entire team the one in the original seven yes. and she had such strength I mean that's her character to have strength mm -hmm. And it's really conveyed through your voice. Because, I mean, even, you know, I remember as a kid just hearing her say, you know, Hera, help me. And that's you. <laughs> so uh, was that something that, I mean, when, when it came to the, uh, the fight scenes or, you know, those kinds of exertions, things like that, I mean, how did that, was that a process for you? It was a little bit because there's something to learning how to do ADR, which is additional dialogue recording, which is all the, uh, uh, you know, the throwing, all of that stuff. So that you have to learn how to do. And Andrea, again, is right. there, guiding you along. Nice. Um, but the truth is, Andrea always told me, remember that she's an Amazon, mm. and remember that she's a princess. Yes. So keep both of those in mind. So when I got too, like, princessy, mm -hmm. she was like, Amazon. You know, and so <laughs> it, kind of, it forces you to bring back the strength and that voice yes. and that presence. And so that's... You know, that, that was huge. I think you, I mean, honestly, I, we'll all say you did a great job because, I mean, the show stands up today. Uh, everyone that's loves. that's not me. That's the show standing up because of the writers, directors, the extraordinary, all the people behind the show. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was a group of talent that really was incomparable. And I think anyone in the business would say that, yeah. you know? It's, I mean, uh, fans would say it as right. well. And to their credit, to the production element's credit, I mean, them choosing you guys as the voice actors. I mean, I just have to say for myself, just growing up hearing the voices, it's hard for me to digest another voice. I mean, if a show comes out or a movie comes out, I mean, I, I love uh, these characters through, uh, in and out, but right. if I hear another Wonder Woman, something in me says, that's not Wonder Woman. You know, I hear that, and uh, I understand that, and I hear that a lot, and I think that when people were first exposed to these characters, if they were first exposed to them through us, through Carl and George and Kevin, mm -hmm. then for, you know, we'll always have that um, impact. Mm -hmm. And so they'll hear other people and they'll be like, huh, that's not <laughs> Susan, that's not, you know, George. Uh, um, I think it's always that first time and that first experience, and we were, on a show that ran a long time, especially for cartoons. And so I think that we really had a chance to make an impact where it wasn't like we were just on for six months and then pulled. Yeah, so, it's true. you know, we really did, people did grow up with us. It's true, through and through. I mean, just from uh, childhood into even now, it's still, I mean, it's on Netflix. I like, know. <laughs> do you guys, do you uh, ever watch yourself? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And, and like if I'm flipping through HBO or where the movies are, Justice League Doom or Apocalypse, um, you know, you see that. And I, I like watched the beginning the other day and it's just like your names, like so big on the screen. And yeah. there's like Kevin Conroy and <laughs> Susan Eisenberg, and, you know, and George New or Tim Daly actually for the movies. Oh, yeah. But it, it's just, it, you know, it just gives you goosebumps. I mean, it's just really thrilling. Oh my goodness, I can imagine. I mean, thank you so much for speaking with oh, us. My I, pleasure. I I've really been trying to reach you all I, weekend. I wanted to I see you. Like, you over here. <laughs> you hear that? Wonder Woman wanted to talk to me, guys. Like, she went to speak to GMP. Just digest that yeah, for a second. Yeah, I, I tracked him down, just so you know. <laughs> I tracked this guy down. Oh my gosh. Well, I appreciate that. My I pleasure. appreciate it my so pleasure. much. GNP Project rocks. This is Wonder Woman. <laughs>